Tomo News presents Train Derailments. Chicago L train derails, injuring 32 passengers at O'Hare International Airport. 32 people were injured when a Chicago Transit Authority Blue Line train derailed at the terminal station, O'Hare International, at 2.50 Monday morning. The platform at O'Hare was vacant. Passengers departing the terminal station waited inside the next train. Tracks at terminal CTA stations are equipped with a bumper to stop trains which slightly overshoot the platform. The train on Monday broke through the bumper, derailed, then continued forward and up the escalator. The first car completely left the track. Nobody outside the train was injured, but the conductor and over 30 passengers suffered light injury. Due to low overnight traffic volume, only 50 people were aboard the train. A CTA spokesman said the conductor would be tested for drugs and alcohol as dictated by standard procedure after accidents. An accident on Boston's Green Line Metro sent at least seven people to the hospital with minor injuries. A front carriage on Boston's Green Line train slipped off tracks and hit a wall Monday, injuring at least seven people. A second train had to make an emergency stop to avoid hitting the derailed train, and passengers on the second train were thrown to the floor by the sudden stop. Unaware of the accident, some Boston rail commuters became upset at the long delay and lack of information, but after some time, the Boston Transit Authority brought in buses to ferry commuters along the Green Line route. The accident occurred at around noon on Monday, and D-Line train services between Fenway and Kenmore stations were suspended for the rest of the day. Boston's Green Line is a combination subway trolley light rail system. It began as a streetcar line in 1856. A Tokyo Toyoko line train linking Tokyo and Yokohama rammed into a train stopped at Moto Sumiyoshi Station in Kawasaki City late on Friday night, leaving 19 passengers with minor injuries. The train overran the stop line by around 30 meters. The driver said that he applied the brakes about 600 meters before the station, but still hit the other train while traveling at between 30 to 40 kilometers per hour. Passengers said the train was plunged into darkness. They sustained bruises and other injuries during the collision. There were about 80 passengers on board the stationary train and 60 passengers on the other train. 19 passengers were taken to hospital with minor injuries. The Tokyo Toyoko line has an automatic train control system, which should automatically stop moving trains as they approach a stationary train. But the system is overridden when the emergency brakes are applied. Transport authorities have launched an investigation into the collision. Railway operator Tokyo Corporation said that heavy snow may have affected the brakes, causing the incident. Boeing fuselages to be pulled from Montana River Montana Rail Link was attempting to remove three Boeing 737 fuselages that tumbled into a river in western Montana after a train accident on Thursday. A train that was delivering the fuselages from Spirit Aerosystems in Wichita, Kansas to the Boeing assembly line in Renton, Washington derailed on Thursday. The train was carrying six Boeing 737 fuselages and other large plane components. The train was reportedly traveling well under the 35 mile per hour speed limit before it went off the tracks about 10 miles west of Alberson. Three of the fuselages fell off the rail cars but remained on land, while three others fell into the Clark Fork River below. A crew of 50 with eight heavy equipment machines is working together to pull the three Boeing 737 fuselages out of the river. No one was injured during the derailment. The cause of the incident is still under investigation. Huge explosion caused by oil tanker train derailment in West Virginia. Two towns have been evacuated following explosions caused by the derailment of an oil tanker train near Charleston, West Virginia. A 109 car CSX train carrying North Dakota crude oil to Yorktown, Virginia derailed on Monday at 1.20 p.m. At least 14 cars caught on fire or exploded, while one or two cars fell into the Kanawha River. About 200 residents were moved when homes in Adena Village in Boomer Bottom were evacuated after a house caught on fire. Nearby water treatment plants have been shut down for fear of oil contamination. CSX reported that one person was being treated for fume inhalation. No other injuries or deaths have been reported. This is the second major oil tanker train accident in North America in just three days.
On Saturday, a Canadian National Railways train heading from Alberta's oil sands to eastern Canada derailed in a remote wooded area in northern Ontario. Engineer at the controls of derailed Chicago train says she dozed off. New video has emerged appearing to show the train derailment at Chicago's O'Hare International Airport early on Monday. And in new information, the woman at the controls that morning has now admitted she fell asleep before the crash. Due to the early hour, the terminal platform was vacant. Departing passengers waited in a stationary train. Tracks at terminal stations employ bumpers to stop trains from hitting the end of the track. While the train didn't exceed the safe speed limit, the sleeping driver and automatic emergency brakes failed to stop the train, allowing it to smash through the bumper and leave the rail. Momentum carried it over the track wall and up the escalator. Two men standing at the top fled in panic as the train careened toward them. The driver says she only woke as the train left the track and has no memory of the moments leading up to the crash. 32 people inside the train received minor injuries. The National Transport Safety Bureau is investigating the woman's training, shift scheduling and disciplinary history. Train derails into Quebec River. Conductor missing. A train engineer is missing after his train derailed on Thursday morning into the Moise River in Quebec. The train, operated by Rio Tinto's Iron Ore Company of Canada, was towing three locomotives and 240 rail cars, many of them empty. The locomotive's reservoir can carry up to 18,000 liters of fuel, but it is not clear how much fuel was in the tank at the time of the accident. The landslide is believed to have caused the train to derail. The conductor, the only person on board the train is reportedly missing. The accident caused the locomotive to spill diesel fuel into the Moise River for hours after it derailed. The train has now been secured, but the terrain in the area is treacherous. Rio Tinto said all railway traffic has been suspended until further notice. Train derailment caused fire and epic mushroom cloud in West Virginia. A train carrying more than 100 tankers of crude oil derailed in West Virginia on Monday. The tankers are loaded with Bakken and crude from North Dakota and headed to Yorktown, Virginia. One tanker landed in the Kanawha River and a house caught on fire. At first, responders had trouble getting to the house. A witness said one of the explosions sent a fireball at least 300 feet into the air. Around 200 families living in two nearby towns were evacuated as a precaution. There are no known injuries related to the house fire or tanker fires. The U.S. Transportation Department is considering more stringent safety regulations for crude oil shipments. Nine-year-old averts train disaster by warning of crack in the rail. Sadesh, a brave and quick-thinking nine-year-old boy living in a village in India, stopped a train from passing over a faulty section of track. The nine-year-old had noticed the crack in the track when he'd ventured outside to answer the call of nature. Railway officials said track fractures often happen around the onset of summer. Sadesh rushed home and told his father about the fracture, who initially didn't take his son too seriously. But when Sadesh dragged his father to the location of the problem, they began debating on what to do. Finally, when a passenger train approached, Sadesh stood on the tracks, waving his red t-shirt wrapped around a stick to warn the driver. The boy is being hailed as a local hero. Four injured in Six Flags roller coaster accident. Four people were injured when a roller coaster in Los Angeles derailed on Monday. The Ninja roller coaster track at Six Flags Magic Mountain has a top speed of 55 miles per hour. The derailment happened after a tree branch fell onto the track, obstructing the path of the train. The front part of the roller coaster detached from the track and was hanging at a 45 degree angle, pointing to the ground. At least 20 riders remained on the stalled coaster, stranded about 30 feet in the air, more than an hour after the accident. Four people in the front car suffered minor injuries. The incident is under investigation. Amtrak train derails in Vermont after striking fallen rocks. An Amtrak train derailed on Monday morning in Vermont, injuring at least seven people. The Amtrak train had 98 passengers and four crew members on board when it derailed in Northfield, Vermont at about 10.30 a.m. on Monday. Authorities said the train derailed after hitting rocks that had fallen onto the tracks. Five train cars derailed. At least seven people were injured. Authorities said none of the injuries appeared to be life-threatening. Freight train carrying dangerous goods derails in Canada. 
A freight train derailed in Saskatchewan, Canada on Tuesday. About 50 people in the area were evacuated. The derailed freight train had three locomotives and was pulling 100 cars as it was traveling from Winnipeg, Manitoba to Saskatoon, Saskatchewan when 26 cars derailed near the town of Clare. There were two cars carrying petroleum distillate, two cars carrying hydrochloric acid, and two cars carrying caustic soda. The two cars carrying petroleum distillate spilled during the crash, causing a large fire. There were no reports of injuries due to the incident. A train trestle collapsed early Sunday morning near Sudbury, Ontario, plummeting several freight cars into the water, according to Canadian authorities. The crash happened in Wanup, 25 kilometers south of Sudbury. The five Canadian Pacific cars were reportedly transporting consumer goods. The trestle gave way, sending several train cars toppling into the water. Following the derailment, two train cars were seen floating downstream. The incident marks the fourth derailment of a Canadian Pacific train in three months. No injuries were reported.